got some time before work. Figure I take the outer loop of the city. Maybe get a little speed. I like this area. It's got stoplights, yeah, but timing is usually all right. It's got some cur. Oh, come on. I ain't waiting on you. It's got some curves and some hills and some nice little crews. Usually it's not too, too, too crowded. Oh gosh, what's going on? Well, you know, I'm jinxing myself here. And then something to light. your car, stay in that middle lane, don't come over anymore. Yeah. I'll get in front of you because I don't trust you. Where should I go? And here. And then come on, there we go. What are you doing, Range Rover? Get in the lane. Oh, damn it, anyways. Race it to the red light. Race you to the red light. <laughs> I'll stop here in the right lane, but then I also gotta get over to the middle, or get over to the left side of the right lane, see? So that way cars that wanna go right can whiz right by me. Because if I was in the middle of the lane, if I was right there, oh, amazing, he's not gonna go right. If I was in the middle of the lane, they just honk at you until you moved anyway, so might as well just go ahead and stay out of the way. And besides, in America, you know, I hate it. Oh, there's people who would be in the right lane, but they're going straight. Especially if it's like a two-lane road, like in town, suburban area. So it's four lanes, you know, two lanes each way. It's a stoplight every half quarter, half mile, suburban area, maybe quarter mile, half mile. And cars would ride that right lane and stop at a light, and they're going straight. And there's like three cars behind him, I want to go right. And you just sit there, a little agitated, a little annoyed, but if you're in a hurry or if it happens all the time, just, oh, you just get so pissed off. Just want to ram it, the car in front of you, and move, go ahead. Oh, I'm in the crosswalk. Whoops. Well, you just want to, let me back up a little bit. <laughs> there's no one crossing from here. Ooh, Volvo and Hyundai. Yeah, you want, the people who don't, People who get in the right-hand lane and they're going straight. And this argument's been done many times before, but now it's fine. I want one radio show, they're talking about it. I think it was my favorite one, 106.1 KISS FM. Yeah, Kid Craddock in the morning, yo. Kelly Raspberry, and Psycho Shannon, and Big Al. Yo, and what's his name? The guy, KC? No. His girlfriend or his wife is named Lindsay. And he, oh, JC, yeah. Here we go. They talked about it once, and they had people call in or something. Some people said, "Well, I'm turning right at the. I'm turning right soon. Soon meant like I don't know, four stoplights later or something. So they'll stay in the right-hand lane. And just what are you doing, taxi? This just me meander on over. No signal. Yeah, that's what they do." Yeah, so you can't be doing that here in Korea. Sitting, in the, you can't be in the right-hand lane, expecting to go straight without not just a taxi. Anybody will come up behind you and honk your ass out until you move. Yep. But it does help the flow better. I need to do a video on these. I need to go inside one of those golf ranges to video. Slow down. Wait, Suzuki? Oh no. It says B U K L, and I thought I saw Suzuki. <laughs> it's a Monday. I got, what is it? Oil, oil, one couple, one fuel. Monday sickness. Gotta go to work. It's gonna be a long Monday, too. I got like, oh, how many, how much work to do? How many classes? Let's 
see, I want to get to the front, so I'll stay here, I think. Whoa, that car, oh. Okay. Yeah, so this, luckily this right lane's got its own turning lane, but there's many roads here similar to America, one, two or four lanes, and if you block that right lane, cars will honk you out, especially the buses, gosh, and they intimidate you. They, oh, that's another thing, car, let me see if I can, can you see these cars here? There's not much space in between them. They don't, like buses will stop like six inches behind your car, and that's just normal. That's just, they're not trying to do nothing, they're just being ready. And, oh, okay. They don't do it to bikes, luckily, but they'll do it to other cars. It's just annoying. So when they do that, the bus will come up behind you, like six inches behind your bumper, and he'll honk, and you got the air horn, you know, honk, honk. and then he'll fire his little electric horn, ee, ee, and his air horn, honk, honk, telling you to move, get out the way. And he'll, he'll get up to your bumper, maybe three inches behind your car, because the front of the bus is here, you know, the engine's in the back, so the front is just a big flat, it's just a big flat box. So they can tell how close they are and they'll be right up on you. So don't stay in the right lane if you're going straight. Feeling risky a little bit. I'm being stupid. But, oh, red light. Really? Do I need to stop here? I should have filmed. Let me get ah. next stoplight. I'll show you how the distance between the cars at stoplights. How about, how about right here? Oh, there's no one there. Um, well, sure. When I when I want to see it, yeah, the reverse lights on, or just lights are all messed up. But cop won't pull them over because they don't. They don't do that. They, I've seen one car pulled over, one or two, since I've been here over two years now. And if I've seen more, is because they're in the rank or something. If you see a cop car with a regular car. So that guy's got his reverse lights on. I don't know, maybe they're me messed up with his brake lights or something. But yeah, they'll stay like that for years and years. It's not a priority reason to pull a car over. Oh, that's kind of final destination waiting to happen there. Oh. I'm not sure where I'm going. I know I'm in, I mean, the city's not that big, so I can, you know, like, say around 11.30, I can stop. And, all right, I need to go home or go to work, so I'll still have plenty of time to get to work. Just cruising on these, the outer loop here. I don't want to do a whole loop, but it's nice. Uh, 1.4 I'll turn, okay. But sure, now I want to stop light. I want to show you a stoplight with crowded cars, and I'm not going to come up to one for a while. Chevrolet. I really don't know where I'm at. Uh, oh, I know. I'm gonna take the back way to my little country town. What are you honking at? That was a little sharp. Uh -oh. What's, why is there water on the road? Oh, dump trucks construction. So what's he doing? 
Uh, oh, he's got the arm sleeves on. Well, he's got an undershirt, but the arm sleeves. Well, well, Carl, where did you come from? What the? <laughs> when... Oh, he came out of that little thing, and he just, you know, there's no stoplight, so I guess he's just going for it. Wow. Oh, SK headquarters office. Nice, uh, oh, red, green light. Dump trucks, water, ugh. I can't shift gears. I should be careful. And the bike's dirty anyway. I went on a big road trip to Kangwondo over the weekend and met friends at a pension. But on the way there, I, I saw like two or three pieces of roadkill, more than likely dogs. But uh, the first one, I played dumb and looked right at it, and so of course I ran right over it. Oh, right down here, another mall thing, I guess. So I got some roadkill on the bottom of my pants. I couldn't tell the, my friends, most of them are girls, I couldn't tell them that. They'd freak out. There's some blood or something, not like a piece of intestine hanging off. And there's some blood stuff on the bottom of my bike. I gotta wash it off yet. And the other two road kills are, yeah, they're dogs. I gotta do a video on dogs yet. Actually, I should go film on dogs over there. Yeah, this is kind of a boring road. Lines in a row, the divots just make them my bike. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, here it is again. This crap. So, look at this. Yo, dang, hey, get out of this. Whatever the heck happened to this road, you can make all these indentured line divots and stuff. 